I've been a Muslim for, it's close to five years now, but I didn't know what was Islam. And I didn't know who was the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, until I arrived in, in Jeddah, Saudi Arabia, about five years, five, six years ago now. You know, I had some nervousness about it, and my friends at the U.S. Naval Academy in Annapolis, Maryland, they said, do you know what you're doing? <laughs> you're putting yourself in harm's way. You're going to get kidnapped, somebody's going to cut your throat. <laughs> so when I arrived in Saudi Arabia, I was scared to death. Um, I didn't know quite what to expect, but I, when I left the United States, I said, God, uh, my mind is open. I don't know what is Islam. SubhanAllah. I've never been in an Islamic country before, and I don't know about the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, but show me what is truth and what is not truth. And uh, I came with an open mind. My sponsor, Dr. Safi Kaskas, was a great blessing to me. Mm. He brought me there to work with him on this project. And when I arrived, I was afraid to walk on the streets. So I said to Safi, I need to go to a grocery store. Can you, can your driver take me? And he says, well, the driver's not available. But he took me to the window and he said, do you see that, uh, <laughs> that shop over there? You, have to you can yourself. go there. <laughs> and I said, well, how can I get there? I have to walk on the street. I said, it's dangerous. He, said, he laughed. He said, walk. And I was hungry, so I walked, and I'm looking, looking, nothing happened. People were coming out of their houses when they saw me, <laughs> inviting me into their homes for tea and coffee. SubhanAllah, the exact opposite. Incredible. Mm -hmm. This was not what I expected. Wow. I had been in countries all over the world. I studied in Taiwan and Russia and different places. But never in my life have I been in any country that respected me as much as an American and even as a Christian, as Saudi Arabia, you know, there were no churches there for me to attend. Um, I wanted to be with people who prayed. And I asked my sponsor, can you take me to a mosque? Because I, from my window at night, from where I was staying, I could see people going in the mosque, coming out of the mosque. I saw people praying, uh, children playing football out in the parking lot. And it looked like a typical American church to me. <laughs> so I said, those people are praying, and they're praying to the God of Abraham. I would like to go and be with them. SubhanAllah. But my sponsor was nervous about this. <laughs> he says, I'm going to take a Christian into a mosque. He didn't know what the response would be. So he didn't say yes or no. He put me off for a while. Finally, I walked to the mosque, and I knocked on the door, and I said, my name is Sam. I'm a Christian from the United States. Is it okay if I come inside? And the Muaddin, Shafiq Zwir, he hugged me wow. and he said, please come in. And I sat there for three days in the back of the mosque, looking and observing and watching people pray. And then I asked Shafiq, can you teach me to pray like a Muslim? And he taught me the first surah of the Quran, Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alamin. Ah, it was such a blessing. I was memorizing only sounds, but then I would look and I would try to figure out what each sound meant what each word meant, and as I studied it, I saw Arachman Erohim, grace and mercy, forgiveness of sins. Wow. My life was transformed immediately. It was the love of God and the love of the Muslims around me that drew me to Islam. Excellent. No, I, I came to know Islam there. I studied, but it was at the Islamic Education Foundation uh, Dr. Sadiq Malki took me there, and I said, Al Shahada there, and I received a card that I was an official Muslim. <laughs> I got in the car and went to Mecca immediately. Wow. And when I saw the Kaaba for the first time, and fell on my knees and my face in prayer, it was there that I was just filled with God's Spirit and, and understood the love of Islam, the mercy of Islam for people everywhere. SubhanAllah. Well, it was, it was uh, in, invigorating. It was, uh, I was enthused in my faith. I was confirmed in my faith by prayer at that time. And uh, it was the first time for me to kneel and pray with other Muslims. Uh, it was a great experience. I was totally misled by what I saw in news reports in the West before I came to Saudi Arabia. And I'm very grateful now to be a part of a, 
of a historic faith that is known for its mercy and not its violence, which is mischaracterized by Western media. Of course.